can you forgive a partner who's behaved in a way that you find unacceptable mm. towards you? <clears throat> you can forgive him if he says sorry. Um, I don't, uh, I don't believe that it's a case of whether or not the person says sorry. I think it's about distinguishing whether or not the person is a violent person or is this a, a random act of violence. I think if you fear that this is something that will happen again, if you get any feeling that this is a violent, you know, a violent person, if you're in a violent relationship, then that's, that's a, you know, a non-negotiable. That's yeah. when you should not be in that relationship. Um, I mean, I've been in a violent relationship before and, um, you know, and that was awful. I've also dated someone and he grabbed my arm and this is after me being in the violent relationship. And I remember at that point, I washed my hands of him and I said, you know, I, I will never speak to him again. I have not spoken to him since. And it was purely, I think for me, my experience caused me to make that decision. However, if this was an isolated case and I hadn't been in that, in that relationship, I don't feel that my arm being grabbed on one occasion constitutes yeah. the end of a relationship. I mm. feel that, you know, I feel that a conversation mm. could have been had. Mm. I feel that, I, you know, and said this behaviour is completely unacceptable. Yeah. This absolutely mm. cannot be repeated again. And, you know, and if that message got across and it, it could have ended up being a lovely relationship. Yeah. So I do think that there is a, a definitive, you know, well, there is a line between the two. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's, it's interesting as well and in that anyone who's experienced um, abuse in any form. Now, obviously, mm. you know, a lot of the time it gets labelled domestic abuse and people think about violence, but actually mm. a lot of the time it can be mental and emotional <laughs> abuse as well. Um, the word sorry actually can be such a damaging part of that relationship mm. because mm. that then to the perpetrator seems to feel that, well, I've, I've said sorry, yeah. it, it's done yeah. now, it's yeah. over, and it's not. That, that moment that happened or that series of events mm -hmm. that happened, it, it doesn't get erased just because of one word. Absolutely. Or even, uh, there's a, a, someone I know, uh, can't now have white lilies in the house mm -hmm. because white lilies were the sorry flowers. Mm -hmm. They were the mm -hmm. bunch of flowers she was always bought to say sorry for the night before. And what mm -hmm. that meant was for a full week, she had to look at a beautiful bunch of flowers oh, and they were always yeah, big and chilling. expensive. Yeah. But that is just a constant reminder. And that, it almost felt like a taunt mm -hmm. rather than an apology. Mm -hmm. There's somebody, I, I can't say who, but somebody in, in my family who was in a, a very violent relationship over a number of years. And she always says, she said it's funny because whenever the family talk about it, they always talk about in terms of when he hit me. Yeah. She said, but the thing was, it's what he did to me over time to allow, to get me to a place where I allowed him to hit me. Mm. Yeah. So in fact, he was incredibly charming. Yeah. And he charmed her out of the trees. I think you've once said it's almost like yeah, groomed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He groomed her, and I think that's yeah. a really good way to describe it. Groomed her to the point, you know, built her up as a princess, told her she was just the best thing in the world, that he loved her like nobody else was going to love her, mm. that he was able to guide her when she was doing wrong or maybe when she wasn't making the best choices for herself. So she became emotionally so dependent So she became emotionally yeah. dependent. And then that sorry just becomes the language. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, and then you move on. It's like yeah. the rhythm of the of, of the. Of the but it also becomes as well, Nadia, um, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't have done it if you hadn't made me angry. Yeah. But I wouldn't have done yeah. it if you hadn't have done what I told yeah. you yeah. in the first place. Yeah. If, you'd, if you'd put the dishes away properly, it can get to that yeah. little that's why tiny I'm, point. I'm quite upset about Lindsay putting a statement out saying, I could have forgiven him if he'd have said sorry. Because mm. I don't think there is any forgiveness. I don't think there is any reason why a man should grab your arm or a woman. Mm. I don't think there's any reason why a man should raise his hand to you, mm. um, equally a woman raising her hand to a man. I'm so against any kind mm. of violence. You walk away. Mm. I don't believe but sorry you probably, should be but, but you know I don't what, a violent person be wouldn't be attracted to you? Because you are a str you're, you're there, yeah. you're strong, mm. and you've got your very clear boundaries. Yeah. So he uh, or she would sniff out that sort mm. of a exactly. person. Exactly. Uh, you know, like, again, I think... Absolutely. I think well, Jamila's you say that, but I know a lot. I, I know women, I have friends myself who are strong. 
wrong, women. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think people always see a victim as, yeah. oh, but she was very meek and mild, and yeah, she looked right, the actually. type you're that right. could I be. Agree. I have yeah. known so many strong yeah. women that's that people... Yeah. stupid that thing people I said, go, actually. <laughs> you're right, you're and right. And it's made me think, yeah. wow, yeah. if someone can be yeah. violent towards them, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. wow. Yeah. I mean, I think anyone can end up in that, in a violent relationship. If you can, walk, run away, I do hear what you're saying, but have you never, have you never lost your temper and and I, and, I, and the thing is also I do think that there's there are different levels of violence. I think you know if as I said I, my arm was grabbed, had he punched me in my face, then yeah that would have been a different thing. And I you know I don't know if it's wrong for me to I've differentiate between. Been, right, but I think it's, it's, lost it's interesting as well picking no, up on what both of you said physical. in terms of why would you stay and oh but you think of a victim as mm. being meek and wild. It's not like that at all. Yeah. Actually some of the most strident, no, I strong, strong I know, women, yeah. Yeah, women yeah. that you put on a public face. I don't just mean in terms of celebrity, I mean in terms of their, their local environment. Yeah, absolutely. But actually behind closed doors, many people, have they have different faces once that door closes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that so nobody true. should judge anybody's behaviour unless they've walked in their shoes. Absolutely. You don't know what goes yeah. on behind closed yeah. doors. If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.